Next up is the Precision Screwdriver Kit Pro from Hodo. Now, this is another item that I initially dismissed after getting the iFixit toolkit. I couldn't care less about any electronic screwdrivers, but when they offered me to try out their original Precision Kit, I thought, why not? And since then, I've become a big fan. Granted, I do open a lot of gadgets in my videos, but even if you don't, a toolkit like this can come in quite handy for all kinds of repairs. The Pro Kit also addresses one of the only annoyances I have with your original precision kit, and that's how you charge it. Instead of having to take the driver out of the case and have it potentially roll around on your desk, you can now charge it through the enclosure. There's no built-in battery if you're wondering, it's just passing the juice through to the driver. The driver design also changed a little bit. The grips are now contained to just the front, which I'm not so keen on. I actually like the old ones a little better. The Pro version also contains a switch to change between a lighter and stronger torque mode, so you don't accidentally strip out any screws. And the front also contains a handy LED lights, just in case you need a little bit more visibility. Of course, the bigger box isn't just larger to accommodate the charging mechanism. You get one extra bit, while six of them are also longer to get in there deep. Now, next to them, you get a dedicated spot to magnetize and demagnetize the bits. I don't know why you have to do that here. Maybe it's because they are held in magnetically. I don't know. But if the bit needs a charge, you can take it and just put it in the plus compartment or in the minus one to discharge it. Everything from here on out is exclusive to the Pro Kit, starting with these handy guitar picks. Well, they're actually not guitar picks, although you can use them to do that too, but these are perfect to get to all kinds of plastic housings. Next to them we have three miniature plastic crowbars, which Mr. Freeman would certainly approve of. Solid and handy if you need a little bit more force. They're also great for scraping off stickers. At the top we've got two more plastic tools. Not quite sure what I would use the first one for, but it looks like the murder weapon of a summer horror movie. Then we have a spudger, which I have used many times to penetrate small perforations or disconnect those pesky ribbon cables. Then we got a metal one, which I actually don't know what to do with, but I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. A bigger pry tool with a bit more grip and two small pliers, one with a rounded tip and one which is so sharp that I've actually damaged myself more often than I'd like to admit. Lastly, we have a suction cup that is designed to help you remove screens. If I ever get to upgrade or change my Steam Deck screen, this will surely come in handy. Finally, we have a magnetized mat that is perfect to keep those pesky little bits from running away while you're working. All of this is stored in a really nice and compact package that is perfect for any keyboard enthusiast, builder or even if you just like to tinker around with your devices. Even if you just change the M.2 drive on your Steam Deck, it can make that procedure just a little more fun.